Guys, the time is finally here. The crew is finally out. I have waited so long for this moment. So many E3s, so many videos. I remember my first video on the crew. If you do as well, leave sure to let me know down in the comment section. But here we go. It is Raptor time, and the force feedback is definitely there. I just felt it. <laughs> All right. So this is not going to be the first time we see the Raptor in this series. Because this... Oh, my God. I've lost it. Oh, my God. Come on, power. I am going to be using the, uh, the Ford Raptor for quite a lot of this. And one thing I just realized... Oh, my God. That car has lost it. Did you even get a license, my friend? I just realized I did not change the rotation angle on the wheel. So it's going to be absolutely monstrous. Unless I do change it, it's on 1080 degrees. If you don't know the Thrustmaster wheel that I have. But uh, I'm going to change that down to 270, I think it is, for this. That's what we're going to do the crew on, I think, because it just kind of makes sense. And this wheel is still trying to kill me. No idea how anybody could play this on 270. Oh my god. It's trying to kill me still. <laughs> so, it's also in Euros. I need to change that as well. Many things to configure in the menus of the game, but we are... Oh my god! I need to really configure this wheel. But right near the finish, we spin out. Playing the crew on 1080 degrees should not be a thing, my friends. Should not be a thing. But uh, we finished the first race. We managed to survive. So what I'm going to do now is actually configure my wheel while we uh, carry on through here. So, uh, the crew launched today. It is finally here. I'm probably, like, zoning out a little bit there. There we go. Uh, but I've been waiting so long for this, as you guys know. The crew has been my most, rec you know, hyped game since ever, really. It's like, it's finally here. We get to drive the whole of the US. We can get to the Lamborghinis Harry, and cars I'm we clean. never did before. I'm on my way. About oh, time, it's Alex. so exciting. I <laughs> can't wait for this. In a barn nearby. Where? Where? You haven't updated your 510 net in a while, have you? No, I have not. Not since the last beta. <laughs> All right. You see the radar on your mini map? It should be showing the direction of the nearest data station. Okay, so we're just the driving to the data station the for this gets. part. Follow. That, well, that's what we will do. So, uh, we're on 270 now, so it should be a little bit easier to get the car to move around. Once we go off-road, though, it still probably will kill me. Because that's exactly what happens. Yep, it's still trying to kill me. <laughs> Data center found, my friend. Now can we progress, please? Because I want to drive that Camaro once more. I hey, never I'm thought here. I'd say we're that, now. but I want to drive the Camaro for the sixth time, this please, game. Soon, Alex, so let's get your map up to date. All right, yeah. buddy. More computer crap, right? <laughs> that's right. Let's get you synced to the 510 net. Let's do that. Because we need to hurry up and get past the prologue. Because I want to get past the prologue. It's like, I've played this so many times, but I, I just can't wait. But we, we get to try new cars for this once we actually buy our car and stuff, so. So we load our own info onto their servers. You can find everything on here, man. Race events, places of interest, you name it. And it's all encrypted and secure. I marked the barn on there, you see it? Yeah. Set a waypoint and get over there. We need you back in Detroit ASAP. All right, calm down, my friend. So we are going to zoom out using the pedals, because I know you can do that. That's so cool. Uh, we need to make our way to Detroit. Let's set a waypoint. And... Uh, I don't want to abort the mission. I want to go... Well, I've set the waypoint. There we go. I haven't... I have set it. Oh, it's that one. I was gonna say... I forgot. I'm trying to drive to the yeah, wrong event. On, Alex. You ain't got time to screw around. So what I'll do is I'll drive to that event and we've already got the other one marked. I just realised. I was like, wait, wait a second. What's going on? Why is it... What? But the crew... We're here. Like, oh, it's been such a freaking long journey. You guys know, if you follow me from the beginning, I've been here since before the game was announced hey, at E3 2013. Happy. Like, oh, we happy. just, just right. literally I waiting for this game hood, to so release. And I've played every beta and covered crowd. every little Speaking bit of, of news. Which, not every bit, but you know what I mean? Alex, it's just, spooked about something. it's, it's incredible like that it is finally, way. literally, my game running on my console. Season Pass doesn't work yet in my Gold Edition, but that's not an issue. So, what I'm going to do quickly 
set a waypoint and get over here. And I will get over there. On. This race is gonna be intense, man. You should see this I hope crap. it's going to be intense, gonna otherwise I'm going to cry no because I want intense racing. That's the whole point of this, mate. I'm Sounds trying to look through something. Worry, I need to go man, on the radio. Forget. Let's turn off the radio just in case. There we go. We can't change gear while I'm on that. Anyway, it's here. Oh my god, like... <laughs> the, the, fe the thought hasn't sunk in yet because... I don't know, after playing so many bases and just seeing it... Oh my god, do you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to change it from Euros. Bloody hell. Uh, for, you know, seeing it evolve every beta and seeing it improve and... The final deal is finally here and we're not going to be stuck for level 10. I'm going to be able to get my Lamborghinis and everything. I seriously can't wait to do that. So, uh, guys, in the comment section below of this video, please let me know what you guys feel about this game already. Because, like, if you've bought the game, or if you, you know, it, that would be cool if you could tell me that as well. Good God! If you could tell me that as well, like, is it what you expected it to be if you didn't play the betas? Or, if, you know, even if you did play the betas, that sort of thing. Because I seriously want to know, like, I just want to know all of your thoughts because this, this game, man... It's, it's going to be an absolute monstrosity of a journey because we're going to do so much in this series. That's why I kind of decided to do a Let's Play. Like, normally I wouldn't do Let's Plays because I, I kind of like playing the games at my own style. And that's the thing. With this game, I can do a Let's Play and do my own style. Like, you know, do my own style of videos. God damn it, you pleb. Could have got a gold for that, but no, you had to mess it up for us. I'm going to stick with the silver there. Thank you very much. That's all I need and want is yo pennies. Oh, yeah, not even money I didn't even get, did I? But, did you see that Mercedes? I think that was the Mercedes. We saw it earlier, but I, I did point it out. I was like, wait a second, is, it, is that a Mercedes? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm in the full game. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I just feel as if... Oh, my God! Look at that! It's, it's going... Having the steering linearity on what it is, like, it's got no dead zone, pretty much. So it's got no, like, cent... It has kind of a lot of force on on never being on the center, really. The game literally tries to pull you constantly. Whereas, uh, that's not amazing if you're trying to level out your car after you've lost control. So I may mess around with the settings quite a lot in this, because I really want to get these spots on for me. Because, once again, I'm a noob wheel user, and also, I'm a noob of the crew. It's funny, because I can say I'm a noob at the crew, but I've played every single beta and I know how the mechanics work and everything. I'm, I'm still a noob. I'm still new to the game. Let's go into the solo event here. Oh my god. I'm, I'm looking at those Australians. Like, they, they got it early. They got it early, early. Like, we get it before America, which is insane, because normally, America gets everything before us. But we're like, yeah, haha. <laughs> Time zones work in our favor, for once. And uh, being in the UK works in favour for once. Doing this first race again, I'm definitely getting an R34. Just the car in the beta, every beta I drove it in, it is the most beautiful piece of kit ever. Like it handles well on street races, it handles well off road, and it handles well when you're mucking about drifting around with your friends. So you know, <laughs> the race is about to begin. Give me that start sequence. I love that. Oh! I can't wait to get further than the game though. Like, I remember seeing all of these cutscenes and I know I'm going to see like most of them throughout this. That I've, you know, I'm going to see the majority of these in the beginning episodes multiple times. You would have probably already seen them, you know, yourself. But for once I actually paying attention to the story. <coughs> which, which is not something I normally did because in the betas, obviously. I want to pay attention to the story, but I... D oh, shite! I want to pay attention to the story, but uh, I kind of can't because I really, really want to save it to when I'm playing the game. You know, we're, we really need to sort out that uh, steering linearity there. So I'm actually going to lower it, as I said. <laughs> as I said I would, because I really just... I need that center point, which uh, is what I had before. Though, to be honest it, honest, it feels a little bit better without that. But at the same time, it's it's more, it's more easier to control like this. So, 
If you've got a wheel, let me know your setup and uh, I'll have a play around with them throughout this series. Come on, Skyline. I know you're an absolute monster, but have you seen what I'm packing? I am packing myself a 19, I think it's a 69, Camaro that's going to dominate you in every single way. Look at that. That's what you call power. Taking out an R34 on a circuit race. It's not how logic works, but screw logic. This is the crew, baby. We don't need logic where you come from. <laughs> come on. Get across that finish line. Yes. Absolutely beautifully. I am so pumped to play throughout this. Oh, my God. Silver. Well, that did spin out, so to be fair. So I, if I didn't get spun out, I probably would have got a gold on that. But it does feel a lot better now that I've removed the linearity a little bit. Oh, time for some more cutscenes. That car in cutscenes just, oh. Hey, bro. Hey. I need a ride. Well, I'm your brother, so I suppose I'll have to I give you one. You. Everything all right? You look a bit all nervous, right. mate. Let's go. You got a mark on your neck. What, what's that for? <laughs> he looks like just the average bodybuilder guy that's like, Oh yes, I do weights. Oh, I'm just... What, what are you doing today? Oh, I'm off to the gym. I, I don't... What, what are you doing? Playing games. Oh, what a nerd. I'm going to gym. I'm gonna go work out and shit. Because that's what I do. But here we are on a timer. Let break, go. Bro. Let's do this, buddy. So we've got Picked music on here again, so I'm probably yeah, going to get absolutely destroyed flag-wise. I could disable all the music, but it'll disable all the awesome original soundtrack. So cops on race hopefully we can sneak around, by YouTube here. We can or we could just pause it and disable it. Oh, it's, it's Dude, actually... I don't know if it's actually their music like or what. Is why you got your anyway, we'll just leave it on. I, it's not, probably not their music, but... Oh, God. I found it by Too much power at once. And my own brother is breaking the rules. Not hearing the works? engine is kind of a, an off-putting thing. I, I find that quite a lot in a lot of games. Like, I need so, to hear that engine. Some guy named Shiv. Before I met you. Shiv? Ask him a few questions about money going missing. So why am I oh, here? we should why probably ask about that money because you know we need asshole. we need money to buy cars like this. <laughs> and my R34, obviously. Black Panther in the journey to the R34. That is the quest, my friends. I can't wait to get my R34, to get my SLS, to get my 69 Camaro, to get everything I just can. Oh, it's it's. It's weird feeling like wanting to get the stuff that you had before and that sort of job. It's really, really weird. <clears throat> but we got a gold. Excuse me. I thought that was better than gold. I think that should have been a platinum. But we can't get platinum until we beat the game. I think that's when you get platinum. Once you've actually finished the main game, then you can get the platinum parts. Which I think will be pretty damn interesting because I'm going to go through everything again just to get the platinum parts. Shall I continue to let's play through those? We'll have to wait and see. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Intense scene begin. Oh, look. What time is it? It's time to get a new watch. Get a smart watch, my mate. <laughs> Maybe you could see your uh, miles you've done on, such on, your, on your smart watch. Be more, more useful to you. You know, you can get tweet at the tweet tweeter. What's tweeter? Twitter notifications <laughs> on, your, on your wrist. It's like, hey, there's a race. Yeah, buddy, stay low in your car. Just lower the suspension or something. Big tough man walks over to the Ford GT. Blacked out Ford GT. Very terrifying. Probably why he got a Camaro to come. Doesn't look like it's going well. Nope. Okay. So, look. Okay. That did not look like it went very well indeed. At all. Here come the popo. And now he's going to get in trouble for it. Of course. He's the only one on site, so obviously... 
Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Got a gun. Well, that ain't mine. This one's dead. How did you? How did? <laughs> like, surely you would look at the cop. I, I don't know. I don't know. Video game stories, my friends. But let's see what happens five years later. Anything spooky, scary, skeleton-ish? No? Okay. Oh, we're, we're chained up. We're, we're in jail with uh, long fingers. <laughs> I don't know why I put it out. <laughs> Excitement gets to you in strange ways. Hello, strange woman. That I've never heard of, Hello, that uh, nags me all the I time in the beta. Zoe. Hello, Zoe. Do you stop talking? I think we can help each other. I don't want you to help me. I want you to just let me go. Actually, that's helping me. Yeah, I want you to help me, and then don't talk. That would be fantastic. You know these guys, right? Of yeah. course you do. My One best mates. Your brother, the other framed you for his murder. Not quite. <laughs> Here's the deal. I want this guy. Special Agent Coburn, he's dirty. All I need is proof. That Special Agent that? guy, he definitely shit. looks like Leader someone that I know. I'm, I'm not sure why, but I want to say Rolf Harris, but I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't know why, because it's not exactly Rolf Harris, but he reminds me of him somehow. <laughs> Rolf Harris covered up the murder of my brother. I'll be in touch. Good, Mr. Policewoman. I'm keeping this. <laughs> Emotional <laughs> connection. Looked into their eyes. Eye, eye, eye contact. Looked into the eyes. Same thing. Same thing. You know exactly what I meant. But there we go. That is the beginning of the crew. But it's sure you've mostly seen that. <laughs> All right, we're clear for a release now, so we are coming out of jail. This is this is good because if we were stuck in jail for the whole of the crew, that wouldn't be such a great series, would it? No, it, it wouldn't. That's right. Get inside this dealership and see what we will buy. I cannot wait to see what choice we have. I'm have probably I'm assuming it's going to be the Alex, same. But it's limited. I've given you enough cash to buy and set up your first ride. Spend it wisely. After that, all you right. have to fund upgrades yourself. They're all available to test drive, so take them for a spin if you're unsure. So, let us go over here. We've got ourselves the Camaro. We've got the 370Z. We've got the Mustang GT. And we've got the Dodge Challenger. And other than that, we can't choose anything else. So, it's literally the start cars that we did before. But uh, before I decide on what car I'm going to choose... I'm going to end the episode, so thanks for ever, ever, ever so much for watching the first episode, guys. If you did enjoy it, give it a like. It helps me out a lot and lets me know that you're excited about the crew because I know I bloody am. Peace.